experts and crypto market participants ask quite often of who is the person controlling Bitcoin Core. And this project is frequently is mentioned as a controlling point for Bitcoin protocol. In this video, we'll try to find out if it is really true. Launch. It is actually not the controlling organ of BDC, but management organ. If Bitcoin Core will stop its functioning, it will be replaced by something else. The fact that it works on GitHub is for convenience and not for some other purposes. If you find it suspicious, just recall that at first BDC existed as a RAR file, then he moved to SourceForge and only after that to GitHub. The project had got its name Bitcoin Core in 2014. And of now, many developers think that it is the ideal realization of Bitcoin network software. The hypothesis of the network is being controlled comes from the fact that there are so-called maintainers on GitHub who have admin rights for their storage, but in reality they are working as technical support of the storage. And in case if all the maintainers were really being able on adding some code into the main part, it would have most likely led to a complete chaos. Many believe that, in theory, GitHub employees might be breaking the rules and apply the code while not being controlled by maintainers. But in this case, there is a requirement of having a PNP key of maintainer, but it is not the only controlling method. The thing is that GitHub uses an uninterruptible integration system. Confident sign each code merge point. Yet again, the keys are not guaranteeing 100% security from scammers. They are the means of making more difficult the illegal interference into the code. All the keys are owned by five people. Vladimir van der Laan, Peter Wild, Jonas Schnelli, Marco Falke and Samuel Dobson. You obviously can't put all your trust in these people, so you should understand that there is a possibility of them giving keys to third parties. Therefore, there is a multi-layered security system, meaning with only just keys you won't be able to have control to the code. Maintainers From the outside point of view, people might see Bitcoin Core as a monolithic structure, but it really is not true. Influencers of this project were often arguing with each other, but in the end they had to reach some consensus. Maintainers are participants who already have contributed into the project and worked on it for a long period. They can also get more people into their team, but only after examining them for security measures. There is main maintainer observing and coordinating the process. It is known about voluntarily passing this right first from Satoshi Nakamoto to Gavin Anderson and then to Vladimir van der Laan, who is still the main since 2014. Despite all of that, many people still do not understand that BDC development does not depend on structure of Bitcoin core storage. The project is in control by anyone specifically and permanently. Let's say the maintainers hypothetically have gained control over the project and are preventing anyone on doing any actions. Then the project will simply move to some other space and will just continue on developing in there. Is anyone actually controlling Bitcoin Core? It is impossible to fully understand BDC. It is compared to a language which is being developed naturally from how people are using it. They do not take words from dictionaries despite words are described in there. The dictionary describes the language, not defines it. And the code is the dictionary where the decisions are made by people. So people are the ones who control Bitcoin Core. If there was a specific point for controlling Bitcoin, then it would have been the only vulnerable part. Every node operator himself monitors, so that no one break rules they have set. This is the foundation for the security of Bitcoin's bottom-up governance. If you want to make money with trading Bitcoin, join Bit7.com. Link is below. Subscribe to our channel and like our video.